Friday, hot news, time to go. I'm excited, I hope you guys are too. But before we do, today's video episode of Hot News is brought to you by UFD Deals, which is our very own website, hosted on Squarespace, by the way, where you can find all of the latest tech deals that can save you money, whether it's new graphics cards in the wake of the 20 series launch, processors, RAM, games, whatever. If we find it on sale, we list it on the website, you click on that link, you buy it, we get a little bit of kickback, you save a little bit of money, and the world goes around, Hot News is supported, and you guys get what you wanna buy at a decent price. So if you're interested, check out ufd.deals. Link for that will be the top part of the video description. Very own website, thank you guys so much for checking it out. And with that being said, before we jump into the Hot News after the sponsor spot, I am really trying to stop saying actually. So what we're gonna do in this video is Rikus is gonna put an actually counter right down there because I'm actually trying to Stop saying actually, dang it, I got hit, didn't I? Dang it! All right, well, hopefully going forward, I won't say actually as much. That one doesn't count, because I'm just saying the name. And we can have a more pleasant hot news where I learn to use my language in a more verbose manner. So let's just jump into the first bit of news. We've got a, quite a bit of gaming news to run through today, so we're gonna start off with that, my friends. First up, Spider-Man, Marvel Spider-Man, is a huge hit, selling 3.3 million copies in the first three days, which in case you were wondering, is a huge success. It is the fastest selling first party game on PlayStation to date, amazingness. It beat God of War, which was also really great. However, you know, Spider-Man is family friendly and so therefore God of War, you know, gets beaten out by that because Spider-Man. Which, after personally playing the game, what I can tell you is that while it's not a great game in like a 10 out of 10 scenario, it is a 10 out of 10 Spider-Man game. I want meaningless side quests of being like Spider-Man who's just your friendly neighborhood guy who's helping out the same repetitive things over and over because that's what Spider-Man would actually do. And then you have just normal quests and web swinging is amazing, all of this, I love this game. So if you guys have a PlayStation and you love Spider-Man games, this is the best of all time. Now we have PC specs for Devil May Cry Five, which we also have some uh, sneak peek things to look at as well. So for minimum requirements, they want an i7-4770 with a GTX 760 or better, no AMD equivalent there. And for recommended, the same CPU, 4770, with a 960 or better. So it's not really looking like it's gonna be all that intensive. However, if we take a look at the screenshots, it looks quite gorgeous. It is actually a pretty dang decent looking game. It looks gorgeous. Coming out March 8th, 2019. Now, UL Benchmark is coming out with two new 3D Mark benchmarks. Two new benchmarks, which include Night Raid, which is ideal for lower end devices like notebook or ARM devices, whereas Next is also coming out a ray tracing benchmark, which we've seen the tech demo for before, but we can't actually benchmark it yet. So not even the benchmark for ray tracing was out when the RTX cards were released, not let alone a single game. So rip. Then Red Dead Redemption 2. This is this is the weirdest article that I have for you guys today, but I feel like it should just be included. So Red Dead Redemption's 2 horse testicles shrink in the cold. The game designers talked about how they're working on the physics of the animal and that depending on the temperature in the game, you'll see some corrective anatomy actually taking place, which is just one of those things that you don't take thought of with realism in video games. You're just like, oh yeah, everything feels real, but then you have to, like, somebody had to animate that. Somebody has been spending their lives crafting this for the past couple of years to bring you like just a total immersion in the game. I mean, I, I'd rather have like people perspire due to temperature changes sure. or like start to shiver rather than this, but attention to detail. I, I have nothing constructive to add here and I'm not even sure uh, why, <laughs> why? Why is this a thing? Then it appears that Twitch is now being blocked in China which is unfortunate because uh, YouTube is also blocked in China. So the content, the live content that is taking place everywhere is not even available to the country with the largest population on earth. Then some console news that I'm actually personally excited for, PlayStation Now streaming service, which has never been available in South Africa because we don't have the latency for it, now offers game downloads. So instead of having to stream them live, you can just connect to the internet, download the games, and then play them offline 
offline, which is what I wanted the service to be in the first place. And this is amazing that they're bringing it out $10 a month or $100 a year. And it offers you 600 games, including Bloodborne, Red Dead Redemption, The Last of Us, and a whole bunch of others. So this is a win in my books. So Sony says that it should support almost all PS4 games that are on the service, as well as all PS2 titles, PlayStation 3 notwithstanding at the current moment. But Progress is progress and I'm excited for this. And then sadder console news, Sony is killing off the PlayStation Vita sometime next year, which makes me sad because I have a Vita, even though I haven't played on it. I have dreams of playing on it one day, but like I also got a Switch to play mobile and I don't actually play on that one either. So dreams of mobile console games for me. And now I'm gonna have nightmares because Sony's pulling the plug on something that never sold very well or had any support but it still makes me sad. <laughs> More news from the dystopian future, and that's Walmart is using 17,000 Oculus Go VR headsets to train their employees. Now you might be asking, why is this the dystopian future? That should actually give them a means to walk through the stores to actually experience their job before going out and doing it so they, they're more experienced when it happens. But friends, this is the dystopian future because they're gonna use this information to track the eyeballs of their workers. They're gonna use this information to track the motion of their workers through the stores, and they're gonna create a robot who can do the exact same thing, and all of this is data gathering for those employees. I'm going super hard conspiracy theory on this, which I'm sure that this is gonna be great for Walmart and training employees, and hopefully we get better at Walmart employees, but I, I'm, woo, anytime something like this happens, I just go, I'm on the conspiracy spectrum and I just, I love to, I go there. Sorry, friends. Next, AdGuard, which is a popular ad blocker for many of you, was attacked, got stuff stolen, and now they've reset all of their username and passwords. So if this is an ad blocker that you use, maybe look into whether or not, uh, You've, you've been uh, victimized. Then some good news for battery development since we're still stuck on lithium ion after how long, it appears that researchers at Purdue University have discovered a way to get sodium batteries to work more effectively. This is due to the chemical way that sodium reacts with carbon that it just can't charge effectively and they found a way through changing the state of the sodium to provide a way for it to actually charge. So that's good news here. Better batteries, better battery life, better batteries, more charge. I want this to last for 18 days. Thank you. And now I will wait for the toilets. Next, our friends over at Pharonix have actually done a good set of benchmarks. I just said, actually, I can't. How high is the counter right now? Dang it. So they've benchmarked all of the cards from the GTX 680 to the 2080 Ti, each of Nvidia's flagships. And you can see that performance differences between the 1080 Ti and the 2080 Ti is oof. Oof, whereas the difference between the 980 Ti and the 1080 Ti is pretty decent. And then from the 780 Ti to the 980 Ti is also pretty decent. Uh, the 2080 Ti is a big oof, it's a big oof. It might be the same numerically as the difference, but percentage wise, oof, oof, RTX 20 series, oof. And in case you're waiting for Intel's new lineup of stuff, our friends over at Video Cards actually have, dang it, I said it again have some Z390 motherboards for us to look at, this time coming from the likes of Asus, including the Maximus 11 code, that one's decent. The Maximus 11 formula, this one is gorgeous. I love that one. Maximus 11 Hero, pretty good. Then the Maximus 11 Hero Black Ops. So there's gonna be a Black Ops 4 edition of this Asus motherboard, that's pretty cool. Z390E Strix, the Strix Z390H, the Strix Z390i Mini ITX, and the Tough Z390 Pro and Pro Gaming, and Prime Z390A, Z390P, all of that is horrendous. What is this, Asus? No. You know what this looks like? This looks like the old crate motherboards that MSI was making. The Z370, no, the Z270, I believe was the worst looking one of the bunch. It might be the Z370, Z270, I'm pretty sure. This looks like the crate motherboard. Don't do this. Why would you want this? Ugh. Everything else is okay. Bad Asus, bad. Uh, and then if you have any money in a Japanese Bitcoin exchange, it might be gone. So the exchange Zyf was robbed of $60 million worth of digital coins and it happened on September 14th within two hours and it was only discovered until this, on, on, on the 17th, not until the 17th. Don't keep all of your Bitcoin in online exchanges or else you're gonna have a lot of damage, my friends. Keep them offline if you care about your Bitcoin at all. You can keep it online, but just make sure you're willing to lose that because it can all be hacked. Bitcoin doesn't seem like it's gonna be hacked, but oh man, the exchanges, my friends. Oof. 
Then, sad news for NVIDIA. Not really, it's not that big of a deal. Their stock fell by 2.1% after uh, the GPU re reviews were just kind of mediocre. And then analysts were like, oh wow, look, NVIDIA is producing mediocre stuff. It's like, yeah, if you paid attention to our channel at all, you would have known that ahead of time and shorted the stock. <laughs> insider trading. Not really, we have no insider information. We just know how to analyze things. Now, let's, uh, let's talk about a piece of news that really riles my jimmies. Is that Russell's my jimmies? Miles, my jimmies. My jimmies are wildly rustled. That's what I'm going with. And that Samsung is deciding to reduce their RAM output in favor of maintaining their prices because they realize, oh no, if we produce more RAM, the prices might drop due to normal market factors. So instead, they're not going to do that and they're still going to charge insanely high prices for it. So if you've been wondering why RAM prices are high, it's kind of, it's because of crap like this. That's, that's exactly it. We've had high RAM prices for a good 18 months now. They've been insane. They're not going up as much, so we're not being outraged, but the current prices of RAM is just simply unacceptable. And oh gosh dang, why? Why Samsung? Don't be this guy. Don't be these people. I actually care about your consumers, please. Uh, and in case you don't like Star Wars, uh, Disney is gonna slow down on how many they're producing. Instead of one every year, we should hopefully get a reasonable time frame between them instead of getting mediocre ones released one after another because The Last Jedi was a terrible movie. So was Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. That was the worst movie I've watched in a long time. My goodness, the acting in that was horrible, the script writing in that was horrible, and the editing. I did it, like, the, the, why? Why? Like, there was one scene where they crashed the car, and in the next cut, they crashed it again! They crashed it twice! You heard the impact twice! Then, in case you didn't know, Amazon actually launched a lot of things yesterday, including a whole bunch of Echo stuff, which is pretty cool, cool including Echo speakers, an Echo show, and even an Echo microwave, in case you wanted that. So there's a new Echo Dot, there's a new Echo Auto, which is gonna be for uh, cars in case you were wondering. New Echo input, which means you can plug speakers that you already own and then get wireless things like that. Second generation Echo Plus, an Echo Sub, and a second generation Echo so Show, an Alexa Guard, Amazon Basics Microwave, Why? Echo Wall Clock, and then uh, multi-room audio and Echo Link Amp, Why? Fire TV, don't care. Oh my gosh, a smart plug to help make your coffee maker turn on at the right time, even if it's stupid. And then a ring stick up cam. Wow, all things that you need if you want everybody to be able to spy on you. Dystopian future, my friends. This and the Walmart story make, make me very unsettled. I don't need things that are connected to the internet all the time, even though my phone is currently listening to me and recording all of this. And I'm gonna get ads for all of it later. Anyways, then we talked about yesterday how Newegg got hacked in a way that like credit card stuff for a month. We have worse information in case you were ever a customer at NCIX. You know, NCIX, that company that Linus got to start at, and then that's why we have Linus Tech Tips t today, and the company that also went bankrupt and had a huge liquidation sale. Well, apparently, they sold the servers with all of their customer data on it with really, really weak passwords, and so a, uh, a user known as Jeff confirmed he was in possession of hundreds of desktops and servers, uh, which basically have all of NCIX's customer history, their private data, everything that NCIX would have had on you, including credit card numbers, could be on that server. So to be fair, this probably mostly affects Canadians because there was an NCIX American store, but I never purchased from it and I don't know a single person in my group of friends who did, but yeah, you could be affected by this. So rip NCIX, hurting people from the grave. And that's gonna wrap it up for all of the hot news that we have today. What do you think about Samsung trying to extort more money out of us? What do you think about Red Dead Redemption 2? And have you played the greatest hits of all time? Spot a man, cause I'm interested. Let me know in those comments down below. Don't forget that this video is brought to you by UFD Deals. So if you're interested in saving cash on your tech purchases, be sure to check that website out. Don't forget to hit the like button, hit it. Do that, please, it just algorithm things. And then get subscribed to stay up to date on all of our tech related content so you get notified when we actually put out another video, which should be on Monday, maybe tomorrow. We have to have a video out tomorrow. Never mind. stay tuned for that. I'm Brett with the UFD Tech Channel. Thank you so much for watching. I love your smiling faces. Dang it, I'll see your smiling faces again in the next video. Love you too.